Hello and welcome to the Hardcore Gamers Club, your safe spot for all things gaming. My name is Daniel, for those of you who do, don't know who I am. Uh, today's video is going to be how to turn an Xbox 360 hard drive into a backup drive for your computer. Okay. So, I wrote on here, Office Computer Hard Drive Backup. That way, I know it's my backup drive and not an Xbox drive. <laughs> okay. Uh, for the longest time, everybody has been saying that Microsoft put in special programming that makes these things absolutely inaccessible from a standard computer. For the most part, that's true, but believe it or not, it is extremely easy to turn this into a backup drive for your computer. So, what do you need? to make this into a backup drive for your computer. One, you're going to need a data transfer cable. Okay, They're about seven, eight bucks, maybe even cheaper nowadays, and a hard drive. Okay, So now I'm going to switch to a screen capture program and walk you through and show you just exactly how easy it is to wipe the old formatting off of this drive, make it recognizable by your computer, and use it for a backup drive for your computer. Okay, stay tuned, I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, so first thing you need to do is, simple enough, put that on there, plug this into USB, and then go to your computer. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go to your computer. I'm using Windows 7 and, excuse me, Windows 7 Professional, so there might be slight variations on whatever operating system you're using, but you should be able to find it. Uh, you're going to right click on your My Computer. You can use the Start menu and find My Computer there or Computer there. You're going to go to Manage Computer, okay? And you'll get a box that looks like this. Computer management. You're going to go to disk management. Alright. It'll say you must initialize disk before manager can access it. This is yours. This is mine here. This is my C drive and this is my backup drive and this down here is the Xbox 360 hard drive. Unknown, not accessible. Okay, so let's see. We're going to say okay. It's left just like it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up so you can see it. Let's bring this up this way. There we go. Much better. All right. So, this is the Xbox drive here. This is my CD-ROM and my other two drives. Okay. <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to click on this one so that we know we're on the right drive and make certain you're on the right drive. And we're going to right click on it and we're going to click New Simple Volume. All right. And then it'll pop up Welcome to New Simple Volume Wizard. Click OK. Maximize disk space, minimum disk space, sample volume, simple volume, excuse me. I keep saying sample for some reason. And hit next. It says assign the following drive letter. That's good. You can use whatever drive letter you want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, mount in the following empty NTFS folder. You don't need to do that or don't assign a drive letter. You want a drive letter assigned to it so that you can see the drive. So we're going to click next. All right. And then it says do not format this volume, format this volume. You want it on format this volume. If you want it to be formatted as a FAT32, you do that. Uh, allocation size default is usually just the best. Uh, volume label you can rename that as uh, 
Lovis Xbox Repair or whatever the name of your computer is. Perform a quick format. Enable file and folder compression. You don't need to do that. You can click yes and finish. It's now formatting that drive. It'll just take a moment here. And now that drive is done. Okay, so we're going to get out of here. We're going to click on my computer. And now we see our new computer hard drive backup. Yay! Now all we got to do is just plug the USB of the back of this Xbox 360 hard drive into the back side of my computer and I got a external backup of the drive. Now this will work for any Xbox 360 or PlayStation hard drive regardless of size and do it exactly the same. Okay, so nice little free external hard drive memory upgrade for your computer. It's always nice. Have fun, stay safe, happy gaming everyone.